Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And if you saw my last video on my introduction to my tube fly series, I think probably the very first video I should make in that series is on how to store our, fly to, uh, our tube flies when we're on the water or when we're done with them. So I'm going to look at the three things that I've been using over the years, uh, and they've proved quite good for me, and I've, you know, continued to use them even though they're quite old. The first one is this uh, Sierra box. As you can see here, it has these wire um, prongs, I guess you call them, and they stick up. So you're free to put your tube fly on them. I'm not wearing my glasses. I'm trying to do this backhanded, but anyway, give me a minute. There we go. You put your two fly, slide it down, and then you hook it underneath and it stays in the box. Doesn't move around. And it's got air movement around it so it dries out no problem. On this side we've got room for hooks and flies. So we could carry both conventional flies and two flies in the same box. Quite handy. This is the one I tend to use on the water most of the time. It has room for tubes. As you can see, it has prongs. Uh, they're big enough for a single uh, tube fly. If the fly is big, you could probably put two small ones on there. And then you've got a spot for my hooks and also regular flies. Um, so I can put take both on the water. What I like about this particular box is it's small. The corners are rounded, fits in a po jacket pocket very easily. Um, and with the foam in that, it will float if I drop it in the water. It's clear so I can see what's in it. Uh, so it's very, very handy in that respect. And I probably use this box more than any of the others. I've had this uh, Snowby uh, wallet for whew, probably 13, 14 years. Uh, it's very handy for storage. And if you've got uh, large pockets on your jacket or you don't stuff it too much, uh, I've kind of overstuffed it, uh, it will fit in jacket pockets. Now this bit here I've attached is just a, a lanyard I put on here with a nipper. Uh, it doesn't come with that, but it's got this hook at the end where you can clip things on. So I thought, you know what, I'll just add this little lanyard. I just made this little thing. And uh, it makes it very easy for me to uh, s snip off things on and off without any problem. It has a mesh pocket on the front where after you've used a fly and it's still soaking wet, you can put it in the mesh pocket to dry out. But what I tend to do is I put them inside the, the pouches that are in here. It's done the same way. If you know what uh, uh, the worm uh, packets look like that uh, you get for conventional fishing, it's the same idea, worm pouches. Uh, it's done the same way. And what I'll do is I'll put a wet fly in one of these while it's still soaking wet. When I get home, I'll open it up and leave it open to dry. So I do the drying at home in the pouch, but you could put it in the mesh pocket in front if you wanted as well. And you've got foam to handle your hooks. So you can put all sorts of different hooks in there. Uh, and um, it's quite handy. As I say, I've used this for years and years and years. And you've got a foam pad on either side uh, that'll handle your hooks without any problem. So uh, the, the adjustable Velcro strap on this thing allows me to you know, really stuff it and still be able to close it, which is handy. And if you can see what I do with the, um, with my lanyard, when I want to put it in a pocket, I just bring the lanyard through. So now there's only a little bit sticking out. As I say, that's my own little addition to this thing to make it a little bit more usable. So it'll be in my pocket with the, uh, with the nipper hanging out. And it's ready to go. So you would need relatively large jacket pockets to hold this, but, um, uh, I carried this on the water for years without any issue. I've recently gone more to the small box. I've had this for a long time too, and I, I used it and then I stopped using it. Now back to using it again. Uh, it's just, I'm not carrying as many flies. Really the difference is uh, these days I go out for an hour or two, so there's no reason to carry a massive amount of flies. I know what the flow rates are like, what the color's like, and I can make a decision on my flies before I leave the house. Uh, if I was going somewhere and I wasn't sure what I was going to be using, I would be taking this one instead. It carries more flies, and uh, I can make my choice more easily when I'm on the water when I get there. I might even take both and, and just leave this one in the car and, and put in what I need when I get there. So, different ways to work. But the idea behind tube fly uh, 
fly boxes or pouches, you've got two ways. You've got the clear plastic pouch with the uh, zip lock on the top, or you've got the um, the peg approach where you've got this steel wire and you slide your tube fly down on the steel wire and that works too. So either way, you can take either approach if you like. The advantage of these is they dry easily uh, and um, you know they you can see them, they don't get mushed up too much. Uh, this handles a lot of flies. So if you want to uh, carry a lot of flies with you, the pouch is a better idea. Uh, this pouch is by Snowbee. Uh, you, any, anybody, any store, I should say, that stocks Snowbee should have it. Uh, and you can get it from Canadian Tube Fly Company as well. I'll put the uh, link up in the cards for you. So there you go, how I handle my tube flies on the water and in the drawer. Cheers.